If you're someone who has always been figuring out how you can code on mobile phones, then this video is for you because CodeDAM enables you to learn and code directly from your mobile phones starting today. In this video, I want to showcase you how you can learn programming from your mobile phone directly and also use it to practice programming, not just watching videos and everything like you are probably doing this on the YouTube, but also looking at code, writing code directly and practicing right within that mini screen of yours. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. As you can see right now, I'm in one of the course items of CodeDamp Stalewind course. You can see this course was recently launched and this is the associated video in that particular course. But the interesting thing about this video is that this is not just a video because you can see that there are multiple such tabs where you can toggle between the views. Now, one thing you can see is that we can actually write some code over here, which looks like HTML, and this would reflect directly into the real application which you're developing, right? So in this case, what this lab is or what this thing is, this course item is that we just practice hello world with Tailwind. So when, you, when you're done watching this video, for example, when you start watching this video and you're done, what you can do is hop into your code editor from the third tab or whatever tab it is at that time um, and before actually doing that you want to switch to challenges and see what you need to do so it says change the class from bg gray 700 to bg yellow 800 so i'm going to go into my editor i'm going to go into this area over here and this is already this was already 800 so that's fine but the moment you do that, you can go back and you can see your changes are being reflected in real time, right? Just to showcase that, maybe I can add a few more styles from my end. I can say text to Excel and font bold, right? And I can say something like, this is so cool. Doing this on CodeDAM. And there we go. So you can see that this is actually a really fun way to practice and build things on CodeDAM. But once you do that, the next thing you can do is switch to the code editor and run your tests. When you run these tests, they're going to evaluate and you're going to get a nice pop-up which says your task is completed. So this is one of the many interactive courses which we are building on CodeDAM. And these are fully supported on mobile phones, iPad, tablets, whatever it is, and even on lower end mobile phones as well, right? So if you're running some device which is older or which is non-performant, this would just work as fine. Now I'm gonna tell you the reason this works. All right, let's actually discuss how this CodeDAM playground works. So you know that on CodeDAM, we have two playground interfaces. The first one is on the desktop where you have this terminal over here, the explorer over here, the Monaco editor over here and the browser over here, right? This works completely fine in a desktop based environment, but you know that on mobile, we have certain constraints. The most important one is the screen size itself. So we have to organize everything in the tabs, but there is one more important constraint which we have on mobile. And that is this Monaco editor over here, Monaco, which is actually uh, underlying editor of VS code completely stops working not exactly completely but it's its behavior is very very bad on touch screen devices right it's not universally supported so you would see Monaco failing a lot of times on Androids and you know iPhones as well so the touch screen support is really bad therefore the editor which we use over here in the third tab is not Monaco it's actually code mirror right so the way we do this is that we would check right now we would conditionally check that hey if you're browsing the website which looks like a phone and has a size like a phone then we assume that it's probably a phone right if it is a phone then we load the code mirror editor over here otherwise we load the monaco editor over here right and this particular thing actually requires us to use javascript because of course you cannot use css to conditionally load javascript bundles at least not now so this requires us to set certain JavaScript, certain user agents, certain width and height and stuff, and then swap them accordingly. But what this gives us is the flexibility of best of both worlds. That means Code Mirror is very performant and lightweight editor for mobile phones, although it does not have a lot of rich syntax highlighting or even textmate grammar support. Whereas Monaco supports textmate grammars wherever possible, then Vasm based, uh, textmate, which is Vasm based, and plus themes, 
and plus more additional internal IntelliSense, better IntelliSense and autocomplete and so on. So the mobile view, the mobile vision, mobile apps vision is that this is right now a web app, but we intend to make this a native app as well in the coming times where we would allow anyone to code, to learn, to practice, even build complete projects right from their mobile phones, build or edit, I mean, whatever you want to say that. And the biggest reason this can work is because both of these technologies, the code which they are running, are not actually run on the phone itself or on the device itself. It's actually running in data centers on cloud, right? So there are EC2 machines and there are databases which are connected, which are the backends, which are the terminal. The terminal which you see over here, it's not on the phone itself. It's actually running in the cloud. So this is more of a like a lightweight display layer for you and everything, your code, your source code, your execution is managed by us. So you don't have to worry about your phone heating up or you know, doing any sort of heavy computation and phone slowing down, nothing would happen. That's why I said that this solution would work on low power devices as well. Because even if you're running something as complex or, you know, as heavy as, for example, a heavy Next.js project or heavy Node project, most of the heavy lifting is done by this server. That is the code compilation execution showing the results. And this device over here is more of a remote right? Like you have a television in the home and you control everything from a remote. So remote is just a small wrapper for the whole functionality. That's similar thing with the, with the device or, you know, the desktop itself. Now this feature is very early right now. So do check out this feature and try to report bugs. It is universally available for building projects as well, which you know you can do from the code dams playground section. And it is available for learning courses as well, where interactive courses would show you interactive ways of practicing plus watching video content together. So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you were able to enjoy the concept of learning on mobile phones. If you did, let me know in the comments below what you think about this idea i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching